So I get a lot of questions from people that want to invest here in Dominican Republic. And majority of them are they want to invest in real estate, whether it's buying a condo, an apartment, houses, or land. But as you know, those type of investment can cost ten thousands of dollars or even hundred thousands of dollars. And not everybody that that amount of money to invest. So what other type of investment we have here that people can participate that you don't have to invest in that kind of money? And one of them is through banks. Banks offer different type of investment for their customer. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a common strategy investment the bank offers to their customer. So depending on the bank that you go or you use, they have different type of strategy that you can use. But the most common that all banks have here is called Certificados Financieros, or in English, Financial Certificate. This particular investment is for people that are looking for a higher return in their money. We all know that having money just sitting in the bank is worthless. We all want to send our money out to the world to buy and bring us back some more money. So my husband and I was looking into ways to invest some of our money with the bank that we are with. So I personal bank with Bank Reservas. He banks with Banco Santa Cruz and our business account is with the Scotia Bank. So we went to the bank to find information and this is what we found out. They all have Certificados Financieros. So let's talk about how this works. But first, let's define what is a Certificado Financiero. It is a financial product through which a natural or legal person can place money for a specific term and under agreed conditions such as breaks and form of interest payments. This Certificate of Deposits can be in pesos, dollars, and euro. Believe it or not, you can get the highest interest rate in pesos. And I'm gonna tell you why. Can you guess? And it is because always the dollars and the euro is always changing and most of the time it's going up. With that being said, how it work is each bank have a minimum amount that you can open this certificate and the interest it will change or vary depending on the amount that you put and depending on the length of time. The more money you invest, the higher the interest rate and the minimum time can be from one month to a year or more. So how does this work with each bank? With bank reservas, the minimum you can start with is 10,000 pesos or 1,000 US. With Scotia Bank, the minimum you can start is with 100,000 pesos and 10,000 US. And the last one is Banco Santa Cruz, the minimum you can start is with 100,000 pesos and 3,000 US. As you can see, this amount changed drastically depending on the bank. With Santa Cruz and Scotia having the higher starting point in pesos and Scotia the higher starting point in US dollars. So let me give you some example with each bank. With Bank Reservas, if you invest 2,000 US for a year certificate, it will give you a return of 3.47%. So your 2,000 US after a year is now $2,068. You earn it 68 US for a year. If you make this same investment, but in pesos, which at the current exchange rate, 2,000 US is about 110,000 pesos. If you invest this amount in a certificate, it will give you a 5.8% return rate. So after a year, your 110,000 pesos is now 116,380 pesos. You earn 6,380 pesos for a year, which is about 116 US, which is slightly higher than if you invest in dollars. As I mentioned, the pesos give you the highest interest rate. So let's move on to another example with Scotia Bank. If you invest 100,000 pesos for a six month certificate, it will give you a return of 5%. So your 100,000 pesos after six months is 105,000 pesos. So you earn 5,000 pesos after six months. 5,000 pesos is equivalent to about 90 US. If you invest the minimum in US, which is 10,000 US, it will give you a return of 0.5%. So after six months, your 10,000 turn into 10,500 US. So you earn 
500 interest for six months. One thing that I found strange with Scotia is the longer that you keep your investment in pesos, the interest rate go down and it go up in US dollars. For example, if you keep your certificate for four months in peso, the same amount, the interest rate is 6% instead of 5%. And if you keep the US certificate for a year, then the interest rate go up to 0.75%. I don't know if that was a little confused, but let me know if I confuse you. So let's move on and give you another example with Bank of Santa Cruz. If you invest 200,000 pesos for a year certificate, it will give you a return of 8.2%. So your 200,000 pesos after a year is 260,400. So you earn it 16,400 pesos. 16 1,400 is equivalent to about 300 US. If you invest the minimum in US, which is 3,000 US, it will give you a return of 3.6%. So after a year, your 3,000 US turn into $3,108. So you earn it 108 interest for the year. As you can see, you can earn better rates if you make your investment in pesos, but even in dollars, you can get better rates than we are able to see in our bank in the US. One thing that I wanna mention is that the interest rate that you certificate generate, you can receive that every month, or you can receive that at the end of your term. So for example, if your investment made 500 US in interest, you can pick to receive the 500 in monthly payment or wait until the year contract end and receive the 500 at the end. So let's do another example. Let's say that you are somebody that have a big amount of money that you wanna invest and you don't wanna invest in real estate right now and you have $100,000 that you wanna invest. So let's do the math on that. So let's work this $100,000. So we're gonna multiply this $100,000 in pesos because remember, Pesos will give you the highest interest rate. So we're gonna multiply $100,000 in the exchange rate at the moment is 55 pesos. So we multiply that, and that's gonna give you 5,500,000 pesos. So that 5.5 million pesos, we're gonna multiply, and we're gonna put it in Banco Santa Cruz, which is the one that I give you the best interest rate at the moment in pesos. So we're gonna multiply this 5.5 5 million pesos by 8.2 percent and that gives us to 451,000 pesos for the entire year. That's how much you're going to make as a return for your interest. That is in pesos, so we're going to but I'm gonna multiply that in, 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 in US to see how much that is. And that is $8,200 that you will earn with your investment for the entire year. So if you decide you can receive that at the end of the 12 month period time, or you can receive that in monthly payment. So if you divide that in 12, you can receive $683 every month. Just think about that. That amount of money for some people is the living expenses every month. And if you have a little bit more money, you are somebody that spend more money every month then if you have the money to double that, then you will make the double of the interest. And then your money will be just sitting in the bank and you ain't even spending your money. If that's the case, you will be making what? Almost uh, 1,300, more over 1,300, almost $1,400 per month. Now that can be you living expenses every month if you ain't spending none of your money. So there are other type of investment that the banks offer for people that are not interested in the Certificados Financieros. So let's start with bank reservas. They have an investment strategy called Investment in Title Securities, which this strategy, you can maximize your savings by investing in security of central bank, Ministry of Finance, and corporates. The other strategy with bank reservas is investment funds. With this strategy, contributions are gathered from various investors and it is efficiently managed by a team of professionals specialized in the stock market. And they will tell you the interest rate that you will earn at the bank. 
they don't give you that information just as an example just like the certificate they explain to you how it works and even if you have a specific amount that you want to know how much interest rate you can make they tell you that when you go to the bank, visit the bank but with this other type of investment you will have to be ready to invest at the moment and they can give you the information. So Scotia also have another investment and this is what it is. The strategy called is high yield savings account, which is different than regular savings account because you are rewarded with a high interest rate. But the key to that is you have to keep your account with a minimum of 15,000 pesos and the account cannot go below that or you will charge a fee. This is not as good as the Certificado Financiero. So also Banco Santa Cruz have other type of investment. And this is very similar to what Rap Reservas have, which is investing on the stock market. But she also said that they won't be able to give me uh, the interest rate that I will generate in an investment unless that I'm ready to do the investment because it's, they also have to get that information at the moment because the stock market fluctuates very often. With that being said, you have a general idea how this strategy works, especially the Certificados Financiero. This strategy is very direct and easy to understand. Determine the amount of money that you want to invest, the currency, at the list of time, and they will provide you with the interest rate that you will earn. So with this one, you don't have to understand the stock market or the stock. This one is very straightforward and we are looking to invest in some certificates. We think this is a good opportunity that our money can earn some interest while it's sitting in the bank. So if you have money to invest and you want to diversify your portfolio more or just want to start investing, I recommend to look into this strategy. So always remember, do your own research, that way you can understand and know where your money is going. So this is all what I have for right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also share. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. So here we have banks. No. Oh, uh, I will say yes, so that no, That's what I stopped because of course we have banks. <laughs> The most common that they, all banks have here in Dominican Republic is called Certificados Financieros. Mm -hmm. I close my eyes, I know. So my husband and I were looking into ways to how to invest some of our money. And we were looking... You can pick to receive those 500 interest on monthly payment or you can wait until the 12 year contract end to receive 12 year contract. the 12 the 12 month yeah 12 months you said 12 years don't okay. in the bank told me that she couldn't give me the right information because it's an special account specialist they give you that information and also they can give you the okay so if you have money to invest and want to add another diversification okay so if you have money to invest you want to add another okay so if you have money to, so if you have money to invest if you want to add another so if you have money to invest if you want to add another you can't say <laughs> I mean, I can't.